province of Saskatchewan to just bring a few greetings. It's hard to believe. Announcement. I remember a lot of cheering, and I think so people were happy at the time. And I think they, there was something else that was going on. columnist said that reporting from this stadium would be like reporting from Cancun compared to what it was like in the other facility. And so, ladies and gentlemen, we have a long list of people to thank, and I want to thank the mayor for doing that, but I, I need to, on behalf of the province, offer some heartfelt thanks as well. I want to begin with uh, Craig and the Riders team. The board as well, but first of all, uh, Craig and the team here who have obviously worked with the City of Regina closely. The riders have invested significant resources into this facility, so therefore Rider Nation has invested resources into this facility. They've toured other stadiums and they've made sure that this is the best place for Canadian football in, uh, in, in the country. Uh, so to you, Craig, and to your predecessor, Jim Hobson, thank you for the uh, for the leadership at the staff level with the riders. Wayne Morski is on the platform today, and as chair, he has taken the torch from Roger Brandbold, and they have just driven this vision of the facility the way it can be and now is today. And so we owe the board members, past and present, some of them are here uh, in the chairs, Wayne and Roger, a, a heartfelt thanks. The province of Saskatchewan could not have had better mayors to work with than Mayor Fiacco and Mayor Fougere. The same is true for their council. You know, uh, the significant investment from the province is over a number of years. We, were, we asked for some flexibility for them a couple of budgets ago, and uh, it was Mayor Mayor Bougere was just uh, just very flexible and cooperative, and a great partner. And the same can be said of all of the councillors, past and present, that he's acknowledged. And so, the city has been so well served by leadership, uh, past, present, and, and certainly into the future. And I just want to say thank you to them on behalf of the province, to all of those involved in constructing the uh, the uh, facility, design and construction. Mayor has gone through the list. I won't repeat it, but thank you for this amazing facility. The City of Regina employees, as it has been told to me, have uh, have undertaken this Herculean effort, uh, and perhaps are maybe the, the the least known heroes behind this project. So I want to thank uh, those in leadership and those who were part of the team at the City of Regina. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, I need to thank my caucus colleagues and cabinet members. There were a number of meetings uh, about this project, about the decision to, uh, to go forward. Uh, it wasn't an easy decision to make, notwithstanding the difference in fiscal situation, it was a difficult one. And I want to give them credit for their resolve and determination to move ahead. We were led in that effort by then minister and current minister Ken Chevaldea, who has provided outstanding leadership for the stadium project from day one. And, and Chevy, I'm just going to ask you to maybe just stand and accept some thanks for that. <laughs> you know, just last month we were at the uh, uh, at an announcement for the Children's Hospital, a major donation from Jim Pattison for the Children's Hospital. That'll be another dedication we might be able to attend in, in about a year and a half that we're looking forward to. But on that occasion, I had the chance to quote something that Jimmy Pattison had written when he said this. Nothing will ever be attempted if all possible objections must be first overcome. This is a quintessential, uh, quintessential Saskatchewan sentiment, I believe. I think it's important for all of us when faced with an opportunity and some challenges like this that we would meet those objections respectfully, but, when, but then resolve to move ahead and to act and to build. In 
folks around right now in terms of getting prepared for uh, a first home game, uh, which will be a fantastic day tomorrow. I'd like to ask uh, Wayne Morsky, President of the Chair of the Board, to come forward. Good morning, everyone. In the construction world that I live in, you often hear that a client is offered three options when they talk about a project. You talk about schedule, price, and quality. They'll often say to you, pick one that you don't want, because if you're going to take the other two, you're not going to get all three. So if you want a schedule and a price, you might compromise the quality. If you want price and quality, good chance you might compromise the schedule. You get my drift, but this stadium behind us is a perfect example of all three factors being delivered. On time, on budget, and a security quality. This doesn't happen by accident. It happens because of a large group coming together, putting aside their individual needs, all for the good of the common goal. From the members of Rider Nation, the province of Saskatchewan, the city of Regina, this group did exactly that, resulting in a world-class, state-of-the-art sports facility that will be utilized by many. In the past three years, on a quarterly basis, representatives from this group have met as the Stadium Funding Committee. And I can honestly say, I never once witnessed a disagreement or any kind of contentious issues being brought to the table. Unheard of for a project of this magnitude. <coughs> the group was also supported by an extremely strong construction and design team, many, many hours of stakeholder consultation, and extensive back benchmarking tours, all contributing to an ending success that we are all here to celebrate today. To the many partners and sponsors and individuals who have supported us through this, without that, it just does not exist. So please feel proud that you are now part of this magnificent success. To me, it is a true testament of the Saskatchewan spirit, the coming together for the betterment of many. While the stadium is reflecting the Saskatchewan spirit, it is also where pride is. You'll hear Craig and I talk about how much our fans deserve this. It's so true. We are so fortunate to have the absolute best fans in the CFL, and we are honored to have this facility that truly reflects Rider Pride. So to close, there's not enough serving words or time to acknowledge so many and so in true Saskatchewan flavor, no one person deserving more credit than the next. I simply want to give a heartfelt thank you to everybody that contributed to this facility, that our team and our organization can enjoy, but most importantly, our children, our grandchildren, and hopefully even our great grandchildren. Thank you very much. Thanks, William. So, the next part of our program, we're going to unveil a plaque. And that plaque celebrates today's historic opening. The plaque will be featured permanently on the stadium exterior by gate three. The plaque's a symbol of achievement, and that achievement represents the tireless work of the core stadium team. Uh, you heard uh, reference to City of Regina staff. Um, as city manager, I'm very proud of the work that the team has undertaken over the years and the cooperation that they have uh, put forth in terms of working with the partner. And it's really important today that that work has got us to the finish line. We've now completed phase one of the Regina Revitalization Initiative. We've adopted a principle at the City of Regina, it's called One City, One Team. So our staff come together, we work very collaboratively, 
we focus on delivering results that better serve the citizens of Regina. We also talk about one city, one team externally. And I think this is an example of one city, one team, all of our partners coming together to achieve an amazing result in the facility behind you and the park uh, in front of you. So who is the venue for? The venue is for the whole community. And you can never escape the fact that Rider Nation, it's present, it's in Regina, it's across the country. But it's here for sports, it's here for entertainment, and importantly, it's here for grassroots gathering. It's here for all of us. So I'd ask uh, Mark Gallon from Everest Place, Paul Knowles from PCL, and Mark Williams from HKS to join uh, our other dignitaries just over by the plot, and we'll have an official unveiling. Partners first, and then we'll introduce the other guests.